This is the eyeball demonstrator of science. And here is the eyeball. That's right. Your eye is shaped like a ball. And inside is the lens. The lens is the clear part that light goes through. And in your eye, the lens sits way up near the front, like this. Now, before light gets into your lens, we have to control the amount of light that comes into our eye. We don't want to have too much or too little. And we do that with something called the iris. The iris changes size, like this. By the way, the iris is the part of your eye that has color. Like, if someone says to you, you have blue eyes, or brown eyes, or green eyes. That's the iris, this part right here. Now, let's say we're looking at something. Maybe a kid on a stick out here. All right, the light from the kid on a stick goes through our iris, through the lens, to the back of our eye. And look, the image of the kid on the stick is upside down. Isn't that wild? The kid on the stick is upside down. We heard you, Bill. So our brains take the upside down images from both our eyes, turn them right side up, mix them together, and make sense out of what we see. They're tough. They're gritty. They have potholes. The Streets of New York, with your host, William Nye. Welcome to the Streets of New York. Well, it's not really the Streets of New York. It's an optical illusion. I mean, a truck is real, but all those buildings are flat. They're almost on one piece of material. See, it's your eyes playing tricks on you. It's not just your eyes, it's your brain. You know, they're connected. See? It's an illusion. Next week, the streets of Plains, Montana.